How's it going, YouTube? We are back here today with another Hot Wheels haul video. This is about three weeks worth of collecting. Got some loose cars, got some carded vehicles in those boxes there. We got some special stuff. Lots of cool stuff. It's gonna be a, a long video and hopefully fun to watch too. We're gonna jump right ahead, right ahead into these uh, loose cars today. Got some that we're gonna open up for you uh, at the end of going over these. So today, the oldest vehicles we have, 1977, or so the base says. This is a color shifter or color FX vehicle. It's a Firebird funny car, I think. 1977. It's a nice car. I always like collecting those old ones, even though they don't usually shift colors at that age. Then we got a, it's either a Byway Man or, it doesn't say on the base, but either way, it's a Chevy square body pickup. We got a Highway Hauler. This will be a future custom. I already have one that I've turned into a custom. I'm in the process of refinishing it because I didn't do much to it last time, didn't do a good job. This guy right here, a wheel loader. On the base says 1980 something, or it's 1979, but I don't believe that's from 79. It looks way too new. So, we got that, we got some uh, 50th anniversary donor wheels right there. It'll go into a future custom. I have some videos of those coming out soon. I don't know what this is. Uh, I found it. Looks like it said 79 on it on the base, so I picked it up. It's pretty unreadable. It's all oxidized and old. But I thought it was a cool car, and I didn't have one yet, so I picked it up. And it still rolls decent, so it's not too bad. So I, I paid 50 cents for every single one of these loose cars, too, so I'm not, like, overpaying for this stuff. Actually, I think I paid... A dollar for that one, but because that one was still in the package. But then we got 1980 right here, some Dodge Murata stalkers. I think that's how you pronounce it, Murata. Got a yellow one with gold Hot Ones wheels, and we got a red one, which is in better condition with no bent axles on black walls. Personally, I like the red one better just because it's in better shape and the black walls look better in my opinion. Right. And then we got, I don't know what this is, but it's another old one, 1980. Pretty nice cars in real good shape. The paint and tampos are all kind of worn off, but still very nice. We got this bus. Doesn't have a name on it, as usual, with these older ones. An old school bus though, metal base, plastic body. I'm sure every single one of you has seen that by now, it's pretty common. Paid the 50 cents for that one too. It's a little busted up, you see the crack in the rear window right there. and The front windshield is coming out slightly. But other than that, it's in pretty decent shape. So I got it. First one of those I've ever owned. We got a sparkle car here, Mercedes Benz, 300 SEL, 380 SEL, my bad, 380 SEL. That one's cool. I love the sparkle cars, one of my favorites. We got, I don't know what this is, it looks like a Nissan hard body or something like that, but it's all, the base is all oxidized, so I don't know what, when it's from. To me, it looks like it says 82 on there, but uh, the roll bar is all chewed up and base is oxidized, I don't know. Maybe that one will be a custom someday, who knows. Got a Z28 Camaro. I like this one, mostly like the paint. I don't know what I'll do with that one. I'll probably just go up in the Hot Wheels highway somewhere. Had a wreck right there. We got this Corvette C4. Gold hot ones, nice blue paint. Oh, I guess it's not nice, but nice compared to the black one. 
The hood on this one doesn't stay up though. That's why I have the black one out, just to compare it. Engine's pretty, pretty detailed in there. It's not bad. Maybe I'll take those two apart and use the black one as a donor for the hood. I don't know if that would even work, but we'll decide that in another another day. Got an old Mustang right here, 60-something Mustang from 1983 on white walls. It's a cool little one. That's the first time I've ever had one loose before. Got a Ford Thunderbird Stalker. It's a nice car. Got a Red Fiero on gold hot ones, I think. Yeah, gold hot ones, they're all faded though, so it doesn't really mean much. And we got another sparkle car, a Fiero on ultra hot wheels. That one's my favorite of the two because it's got the ultra hots and the sparkle paint. We got this lifted minivan. I think it has the name on it somewhere. Trail something, I don't know. I have one of those, or two of those on the card actually. A silver one and a yellow one. Those ones are pretty cool. I'm glad I found one that's loose. It can go down into the sand dunes with all the others, other four wheel drives. Got this snake Formula One car looking thing. Got a Scorpion, I think is what that is. It's a cool little car. I got a new Vampira. Got a couple of those to show you guys today. I'm really excited about them. And right here we got a Range Rover. That one will be down there on the sand dunes with all the other four wheel drives at the end of this video too. This guy's uh, all faded and beat up and paint's chipped and whatnot, but I don't have one of these Cadillacs yet, so I thought it was cool and grabbed it. This Albertsons Highway Hauler was new in the package, never played with when I bought it for, I believe, a dollar. Super nice. I have two others that have been played with that are that same style, so I figured it'd be nice to have a brand new one. We got this Mercury Cougar, I think 25th anniversary edition for the Cougar. It's got the plexiglass hood that molds into the window and see the engine bay and everything. It's a nice little car. Purple wheels, purple wing. Got this 76 station big rig. I love the 76 station, that's where I went when I was a kid, we used to, when I lived in Oregon, they actually had Hot Wheels there, and we'd buy them, so going to 76 was always a exciting time when I was a little one, so I got that, there was a couple of them there, that seemed to be the one in best condition, so that's the one I picked up, got a Chevy Lumina van, first time I've ever had one of these loose, it's a pretty little car, or a pretty cool little car, I have one on the card that's uh, a taxi. That one's really nice. I think I paid way too much for it, but I think I paid five dollars for the taxi version of that van. It's probably only worth about a dollar, but. And then we got this sparkle green MX-5 Miata with what looks like off-road tires, which is kind of weird, but. Oh, I don't know what I did there. Didn't mean to zoom in, but still cool. Sparkle car. I think I have a few Miatas laying around here. But no, not a sparkle one, so I had to pick that up. Got a Zender Fact 4. Pretty much mint. All the wheel, all the chrome on the wheels are still there. There's only one chip on, or two chips on the whole body. Right there on the wing. And then right there on that little front lip right there. Other than that, this car is perfect. I was super excited when I found that. Come on, focus. We got this. Uh, I don't want to, I want to say power pipes, but I know it's not that. But whatever it is, it's a cool looking little car. It's got some nice ultra hots on it. 
I got one of those on the card as well. Uh, these five right here, I have no clue what they are. I don't know if they were Happy Meal toys or what's going on with them, but I think this one was. It doesn't say McDonald's Corp on it or not or anything, so I'm not sure. But I thought it was cool. So I picked it up. And these guys, they have like little stands underneath them. I don't know if they came with like some racing set, some track set or something, but they're pretty cool looking. They got the little uh, Hot Hub series is what it looks like. And then this one has uh, a twisting body. Looks like a fish or something. And then the back of it spins. Not very well, but it does. But if any of you guys know what those are, where they came from, or what the deal is with them, let me know, because I would love to find some in the package, if that's even possible. Um, but anyway, we're going to move on to the Matchbox now. We got BMW 3 Series, E46 BMW. It's a nice little car, it's pretty good shape. I don't know what is going on with the camera. Got a Nissan Cube. It's a pretty new one. It's a pretty cool little car though. I didn't know that was a die cast vehicle at any point, so finding that one was kind of cool. Then we got this guy, which is, he looks way old. He's got plastic wheels though. It's a matchbox. I thought the old ones like this had rubber wheels, but I guess I was wrong. The crane's a little bent up. Obviously the paint's all missing. So it's not in the greatest of shape, but it's still cool looking, so. And that one was, I think I paid $2 for that guy. And this one right here, it's got a nice engine bay, nice chrome engine bay. Some kind of old rally car. It says Mazda RX 500. That's, huh. I would never would have guessed that was Mazda, but car world can surprise you every day. Got an 8 series BMW with or opening doors. This one right here is a way cool one. This is a Sierra Cosworth RS500. This one says XR4 on the bottom of it, but it looks like the RS500 to me. That's a cool car. I've been, I've been trying to find one of those in diecast form for years. Love that car. We got this old Mercedes E-Class opening doors. Only the front two though. It's a cool car, pretty good shape for its age. We got this racing champion, uh, or championship, I don't know. No, racing champions, Pennzoil number 30 car, looks like, I don't know what it was. I don't know what kind of car that was based on in real life, but. I got it mostly because it was the Pennzoil livery. I like Pennzoil. That's what I put in all my cars. We got this Majorette Ford Thunderbird. It's got a nice detailed engine bay. Opening hood. It's been drawn on. I don't know what the numbers are for, but they're there. I'm just going to deal with them. It's a cool little car. Uh, the base is all oxidized and not good, but... I don't know why there's a tow hitch on this car, but it's whatever. I'm not going to judge. We got a Majorette Lamborghini Countach. It's a cool car. It doesn't have a wing, which is what I like. Countach looks good in real life with a wing, but in die-cast form, it does not. It looks awful with a wing in die-cast form. So. Then we got the 50th anniversary donor car for just the wheels fast master probably get some uh, modeling clay that's a similar color and fill in those wheel wells and make it look like it was uh, like it's a hover car of some sort I have one of them up here well it still has the wheels on it a bunch of racing team stuff up here alright All right. Now we're going to get into the carded vehicles that I'm going to be opening today. It's not a lot, it's only five vehicles, but 
still. I don't have one of these loose, so I, I think I bought like four of them the other day and decided I was gonna open it so I could have one for the Hot Wheels Highway. The police won't be able to catch this guy. It's too fast. Unless he wrecks like that Skyline did. And then it won't really matter though. But here's the McLaren P1 in white and black. Nice painted taillights. Painted headlights. Very nice car. Pretty lightweight, plastic base, as to be expected. We got a bright green twin mill, which is cool. The only reason I'm taking this one apart is, or opening this one up is because the card is all screwed up and it looks like it's been in some water at some point. So that one's gonna get open. There we go. Looks like it's got a bent axle too. Focus. There we go. Yeah, it's got a bent axle, but that's fine. Well, I didn't even notice those pinstripes on top. Actually, I'll go ahead and put that with the other twin mill. Twin mill one and two. Alright, then next we got the Porsche 918 Spider. First time opening one of these up. Give that uh, McLaren P1 a run for its money. Well, this one's going to be a tough one to open. Yep. And All right. We'll wait till later to open that one up. Alan's being in pain. Well, and we're going to jump right into this. Uh, Corvette Stingray concept. Card's bent pretty bad. I didn't notice that when I bought it, but it doesn't matter. It'd be a cool car to put on the highway. Maybe someday, someday we'll race it when I get a track set up. I got some track right there, but it doesn't really go to anything. So. This is a nice car. Honestly, I kind of like this one better than the new Corvettes that we have. It's a very good looking car. All right, let's try again on this Porsche 19. See if we can get it. Oh, nice. Very good looking car. I wanna put this one on the highway, but I have a whole shelf of Porsches right up here, so I'm going to put it right next to the 917. Let it sit there for a while. That uh, Gleam Team 944, or 959, sorry. Gleam Team 959 is probably my favorite Porsche I own. I would love to find one in the package still. Alright, now we're going to go on to this Pavement Pounder. The only reason I'm opening this one up is because I don't have one loose yet and because the package is messed up right there. The card is pretty nice, except for right there on, on the corners where it's common to be messed up, but I don't have a loose Pavement Pounder yet and I really like the way this truck looks, so we're going to go ahead and open it. This one will be a little bit difficult because old or not, or not. That. that's a first came out super easy all right let's get those guys back and we'll get this 911 target out beautiful Absolutely love it. Let's get this. Oh, that's not what I had planned doing, but it's alright. Pretty cool. 
slides right up and right down. Oh, don't fall off. I'm not good at this one-handed Hot Wheels holding thing, so maybe I'll get better at it in time. Looks like there's a little bit of rust on that axle right there. Even though it's been in the package since it was cracked, looks like some moisture got in there. Rusted up that front axle. Everything else looks to be fine. See on the Porsche. Everything looks good on there too. Oh well. That one will look good on the highway though. I don't know if it'll even fit through the town. We'll just set it right there for now. All right, so that's all for this video. We're gonna, it's already 20 minutes long, so we're gonna have to go through all of this stuff in another video. So for now, have a good weekend. Happy hunting.